Welcome back. Mayor Bill de Blasio announcing students and school staff at New York City public schools will now be tested every week for COVID. The mayor caving to pressure from the teachers union. We're back now with our panel for reaction. Former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker joining us. Also Republican strategist Jennifer Massey is here as well. And George Papadopoulos, former Trump 2016 foreign policy advisor. Panel, thank you for standing by and joining us today. Governor, we'll start with you. Your thoughts on the decision from Bill de Blasio and these weekly tests for students in NYC. Well, this is just more chaos. If anything, what it's showing is the need to have parental school choice. Uh, I think so many parents over the past year would have loved to take whatever money is budgeted at the local, state, and federal level for education, give it to them and let them make the choice. If they want to go to a school that's open, then go to one that's open. If they want to go to one where they wear masks or they don't wear masks, they get to make the choice. Unfortunately, far too many people in government are dictating uh, the choice is not only to students, uh, but to teachers and other educators. Uh, I hope coming out of this, one of the bright spots will be that parents will demand the ability to make the right choice for their son or daughter going forward. And as we know in New York City, it's not just the schools uh, and parents and students don't have the choice. It's restaurant owners, it's gym owners, it's entertainment venue uh, people. And, and George, these are restrictions that they've got to follow now or they could face financial fines. And that is to require and check that everyone who comes into their establishment is vaccinated. Well, that's, that's absolutely correct. And, and let's look at the facts of, in New York City. Only 26% of African Americans between the age of 25 to 40 are vaccinated in New York City. What this means is, is that the vaccine mandate, in a sense, is ushering in a new form of segregation, one in which a resounding and major minority group within the city will be unable to actually uh, be a willful and um, key participant of society because they have not been mandated. Uh, they have not been vaccinated. And what these mandates essentially do is they usurp the hallmark of what America is all about, about freedom of responsibility, freedom of choice. And we are finally starting to see many New Yorkers actually pushing back against these uh, this government overreach, these mandates, which are isolating various individuals and not allowing them to either work, to go out to have a meal at a restaurant, and it's damaging business owners in their pocketbooks. It's a three-way a negative aspect that has emerged in New York City. And I think that New Yorkers are finally standing up to this uh, grave government overreach. Yeah, we have we've seen a recent protest in Times Square in New York City where people were protesting not the vaccine, but the vaccine mandates again for indoor dining, gyms, entertainment venues. Uh, and Jennifer, you know, it does make you wonder if we would see any sort of pushback when it comes to these mandates. Uh, your thoughts on what you've seen in New York City? Well, I keep wondering how long is he going to be in office? I'm really tired of listening to this comrade. Uh, an elected official who happened to not be following her own COVID protocol. This is San Francisco's mayor, London Breed. Uh, you see her in the video here. She looks like she's having a lot of fun. She was at the Black Cat Club without a mask on. Um, like you would think, anyone, when you're out partying, dancing, and singing, you wouldn't normally be wearing a face mask. The only problem is it's required in San Francisco for that sort of venue, regardless of vaccination status. So she was asked about it by a local news channel. Here's what she had to say. I got up and started dancing because I was feeling the spirit. And I wasn't thinking about a mask. I was thinking about having a good time. And in the process, I was following the health orders. I don't need to wear a mask and take a picture every single time. I don't want to. But at the same time, I'm being careful to not only protect myself and to protect other people. This is nitpicking. Governor Walker, she was feeling the spirit there. Is that a valid excuse? Can other people no, use that? She's totally, she's totally busted on this. If the left didn't have double standards, they'd have no standards at all. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's the big part of the reason why Gavin Newsom had a recall was because of his own double standards uh, at the French Laundry. You'd think someone in California would get it. This is the quintessential examples of rules for thee and not for me. And it's exactly what the governor just stated, that this is a key reason that there were 1.7 million verified signatures to actually start the process to recall Governor, uh, governor Newsom in California, where I live. But what did Governor Newsom do the day after he survived this recall effort? He imposed vac uh, vaccine mandates in, and all, in, all indoor dining, all 
throughout LA County. And now we see the, the mayor of San Francisco basically going public, partying, having a great time and showing her constituents that she's above the law, she's above them, and there's nothing that they can do to emulate her behavior. I'm sure many San Franciscans who are not vaccinated would love to party the way that she was, not to wear a mask and to continue their daily lives. But unfortunately, the Democrats have a stranglehold on California and they are gonna prevent the smooth process of life for all Californians moving forward. Yeah, California voted to keep Governor uh, Gavin Newsom in office. And Jennifer, you know, when you think about when you want to book your next trip, and you could either go to the East or West Coast, I'm not sure which one you would choose at this point, because there are so many different restrictions in place. That is true, and that is why I'm a recent California refugee. Mm. Uh, it was just completely insane what was happening there. Um, you know, her, the San Francisco city website actually says you have to wear a mask even if you're fully vaccinated. So she is, of course, again, breaking her own rules. One of my favorite comments of hers was that she wasn't going to sip, put a mask on, sip, eat, put a mask back on. That's exactly what the rest of the Americans have to do to do uh, to fly in, on an airplane. They're, you know, for God's sake, they're still kicking off two-year-olds for not wearing a mask on an airplane. This is, again, as everyone said, you know, the, you know, Democrat hypocrisy. And if I was going on any vacation to any coast um, at this point, probably the South, <laughs> probably driving there. <laughs> Florida's got some nice weather right now. As speak. <laughs> that sounds fun. Okay, Jennifer Massey, Scott Walker, George Papadopoulos, our panelists for this hour. Thank you all for joining us. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.